Hi, I'm Mark Bedork. Today's Wild West is on location in Lone Pine. It's one of the greatest Western movie locations of all time. North of us is where Randolph Scott outdraws Lee Marvin. Where hundreds of classic Westerns have been filmed. This is where it's happening. You can't imagine this until you see it. And home to what may be the best Western movie museum in the country. And so the next day, his assistant came in with his chair. Plus, Rifleman star Johnny Crawford. And I'm very fortunate to have been part of it. We'll take you to the Lone Pine Film Festival coming up on today's Wild West. The Wild West. It's still out there. And we'll show you how to find it. This is today's Wild West. When all hell breaks loose, you get him. Come on, get him. Making movies on location in Lone Pine, California. How's my, how's your exposure and everything? Looking good? Okay. The reenactor group known as the Ghost Riders are shooting a film and lots of blanks. And one of the greatest Western movie locations on earth, the famous Alabama Hills on the Eastern slope of the Sierra Nevada mountains, just outside Lone Pine, California. Here in the shadow of Mount Whitney, tallest peak in the lower 48 states, more than 400 movies have been shot since the 1920s, most of them westerns. A few steps uh, north of us is where uh, Randolph Scott outdraws Lee Marvin, and Lee Marvin drops dead, and seven men from now is right out here. And every Columbus Day weekend, that heritage is celebrated during the Lone Pine Film Festival. This is the Lone Ranger Canyon where in 1938 it was the first on-screen telling of how the Lone Ranger became the Lone Ranger. Movie fans come from all over the country and around the world to walk in the footsteps of the Lone Ranger and most any other Western star you can think of. It's, it's cowboy land out here, you know, it's, uh, there's no other place like it. John Wayne filmed here, as did Clint Eastwood, Roy Rogers, Dale Evans, Gene Autry, Hopalong Cassidy, Randolph Scott, and so many more. Reenactor John Kircher has been coming to Lone Pine for more than 30 years. Oh, this is, this is like waking up to a dream. During the festival, some 150 photo placards are set up throughout the 30,000 acre Alabama hills, marking the exact spot where a scene from one of those classic films was shot all those years ago. The Alabama hills are federal land administered by the Bureau of Land Management. That's why this country looks exactly the same as it did back in the 1920s when movie cameras first rolled here. And this is still an active movie location today. Some of the recent films made here include Iron Man, Gladiator, and most recently, Django Unchained. Over the years, many of the celebrities who made movies returned for the festival, including Roy and Dale, Ernest Borgnine, Jack Palance, Gregory Peck, Richard Farnsworth, and Peggy Stewart, just to name a few. Today, many of those beloved stars are gone. But after more than 25 years, the festival is still going strong. We have never been a celebrity-driven film festival. We have never been a film-driven film festival. We have been a location film festival, on location in Lone Pine. That's the deal. For those people to go out into these rocks and stand where Roy and Dale stood, to stand where Jack Pallant stood. While celebrities may not be the focus, they're still a big part of this event, like Diamond Farnsworth, son of Richard Farnsworth, stuntman, stunt coordinator, and second unit director for the hit TV show, NCIS. My dad loved to come up here, and he loved it up here. He, he worked up here, and the people up here treated you really well and when they start inviting me up here I just kind of connected and it was a great feeling to come up here with all these people and we used to have a lot of older gentlemen that would come up the old actors and it was just so great to hear them talk and and that's part of our history you know of the old west and stuff and I'd best of my ability I'd like to keep it going on and today, yeah. even actors who yeah. never worked here are excited to come to the festival, like Bruce Boxleitner. I've never shot up here, but I'm here as a fan of the Western, fan of the Westerns and, and films that were shot up here. The festival gives fans the chance to meet Diamond, Bruce, and other stars, like Johnny Crawford of Rifleman fame. When we made the pilot in the January of 58, I was 11. More on that coming up.